The Computers, Freedom and Privacy Conference or CFP, or the Conference on Computers, Freedom and Privacy is an annual academic conference held in the United States or Canada about the intersection of computer technology, freedom, and privacy issues. The conference was founded in 1991, and since at least 1999, it has been organized under the aegis of the Association for Computing Machinery. It was originally sponsored by CPSR. <laughs> CFP 91 The first CFP was held in 1991 in Burlingame, California. Topic <laughs> CFP 99. The Computers, Freedom and Privacy 99 Conference, sponsored by the Association for Computing Machinery. The 9th annual CFP was held in Washington D.C. from the 6th of April 1999 to the 8th of April 1999. CFP 99 focused on international internet regulation and privacy protection. There were close to 500 registered participants and attendees included high-level government officials, grassroots advocates and programmers. The conference chair for CFP 99 was Mark Rotenberg and the program coordinator was Ross Stapleton Gray. Keynote speakers at CFP 99 were Tim Berners-Lee, Director of the World Wide Web Consortium, Vince Cerf, President of the Internet Society, and FTC Commissioner Moselle Thompson. Others who spoke at CFP 99 included David Banazar, Policy Director at the Electronic Privacy Information Center U.S. Representative Bob Barr, former federal prosecutor and Georgia Republican Colin Bennett, a privacy expert at Canada's University of Victoria Paula Bruning, a lawyer for the National Telecommunications and Information Administration in the United States Department of Commerce. Becky Burr, head of the Commerce Department unit overseeing many Internet issues. Jason Catlett, privacy advocate and president of Junkbusters. Scott Charney, head of the United States Department of Justice Computer Crimes Unit. The artist Henry Cross, Simon Davies, Fellow of the London School of Economics and representative of Privacy International, Elizabeth France, Head of the UK Data Protection Registrar, Bob Gelman, Privacy Consultant, Peter Hustings, President of the Dutch Data Protection Authority, Stephen Lau Ka Men, Hong Kong's Privacy Commissioner for Personal Data, Jim Lewis from the U.S. Commerce Department's Bureau of Export Administration. U.S. Representative Ed Markey, a ranking Democrat on the House Subcommittee for Telecommunications, Trade and Consumer Protection. Eric Mokel from Quintessenz, Austria, Arja Neyer, President of the Open Society Institute. Jagdesh Parikh, an official with Human Rights Watch, Philip Reitinger, a prosecutor for the U.S. Justice Department, Carol Risher, Vice President of the American Association of Publishers, Michael Robertson, President of MP3.com, Kerry Sherman, General Counsel of the Recording Industry Association of America, Bruce Schneier, President of Counterpane Systems, Barbara Simons, President of the Association for Computing Machinery, David Sobel, Legal Counsel at the Electronic Privacy Information Center, Latanya Sweeney, Assistant Professor of Computer Science, Technology and Policy at Carnegie Mellon University, Peter Swire, Chief Counselor for Privacy in the U.S. Office of Management and Budget, 
Greg Taylor of Electronic Frontiers Australia, Christine Varney, representative of the Online Privacy Alliance and former FTC Commissioner, George Vandenberg, Senior Vice President of America Online, Steve Wright, of the UK-based non-profit Omega Foundation, author of a report on Echelon, discussion panels at CFP 99 included Anonymity and Identity in Cyberspace Creation of a Global Surveillance Network Global Internet Censorship Privacy Privacy and Data Protection Policies Self-regulation reconsidered. Topics covered at CFP 99 included Anonymity Protection of children by parents and teachers, not government Fair use of copyrighted material Controls over the export of cryptography under the Wassenaar arrangement Data mining and identity theft Encryption Free speech Government disclosure Human rights The link between privacy and free speech Discussion between MP3 activists, musicians and the recording industry Privacy and data protection by self-regulation or legislation Proposed privacy legislation Self-regulation of online privacy whether the Internet would remain unfettered and unregulated. Topic. Awards at CFP 99 The first annual U.S. Big Brother Awards were made at CFP 99 on Wednesday 7 April 1999, the 50th anniversary of the publication of George Orwell's 1984. The awards were made by the London-based Privacy International to recognize the government and private sector organizations which have done the most to invade personal privacy in the United States. Simon Davies, Managing Director of Privacy International, presented the awards, otherwise known as Orwell's. There were five categories of award, Greatest Corporate Invader, Lifetime Menace, Most Invasive Program, People's Choice, and Worst Public Official. At CFP 99 Electronic Frontier Foundation made the 1999 F Pioneer Awards to Drazen Pantic, director of OpenNet, internet provider to Belgrade radio station B92, posthumously to John Postel, who ran the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority, and Simon Davies, director of Privacy International. Topic. Announcements at CFP 99 U.S. Representative Edward Markey, D. Massachusetts, said that to ensure companies post clear and enforceable privacy policies, federal legislation is required, and that he would reintroduce a privacy bill of rights. At CFP 99, Microsoft, the Electronic Frontier Foundation, and Trust announced that they had developed a privacy wizard to assist webmasters create a privacy preferences project statement for their websites. Topic. CFP 2000 The CFP 2000 conference chair was Laurie Faith Cranor. Topic. CFP 2005 The 15th iteration of the conference was held in Seattle. The theme of this conference was equivalence, the balance between surveillance and sousveillance. The equivalence theme was reflected in the opening keynote address, a panel discussion on equivalence, and a pre-keynote sousvalence workshop, as well as a sousvalence performance. 
In keeping with this theme, every conference attendee received a sous-valence system consisting of a maybe camera attached to each conference bag. Some of the 500 conference bags contained cameras transmitting live 24-7 video whereas others contained no camera, but merely the familiar camera dome. A third category of conference bag included some with a subtle but visible flashing red light behind the dome. Not all of the wireless web cameras had flashing red lights, and some of the flashing red lights were dummy devices that did not transmit video. The bags that did transmit video also updated various video displays around the conference hall, visible to conference attendees. Topic. CFP 2009 Topic. CFP 2011 The 21st Annual CFP Conference in 2011 Computers, Freedom, and Privacy, The Future Is Now was held at the Georgetown Law Center in Washington, D.C. June 14-16. Among the questions and issues explored were, what is social media's role in the charged democracy movement in the Middle East and North Africa? How can technology and social media support human rights? What is the impact of mobile personal computing technology on freedom and privacy? Are the courts, policy and decision makers ready to address freedom and privacy in a 24-7 connected world? Are our leaders tech savvy enough to make good legal and policy decisions regarding the deployment of smart grid, e-health records, the spread of consumer location-based advertising? Cybersecurity, cloud computing, net neutrality, federated ID, ubiquitous surveillance, are they passing fads or here to stay? <laughs>